Hey guys, this is another video in our Did You Know series and what we are going to be discussing is IP whitelisting. What is IP whitelisting? It is the ability for you to grant access to specific IP addresses to access the software. Basically restricting access from any other IP address other than those that are on the list. So. If you have employees um, that you do not want to have access the software outside of the tax office, meaning their only time to do taxes is when they are under your purview and in your location, then you will want to grant access to the IP address of your business location only. So they're not using their cell phones to access the software. They're not using a tablet from home or any other means by which to access the software. Their logins just plain will not work if they're trying to access it outside of that IP address that has been granted access. So how do we do that? Real quick, what you're going to do is you are going to log into your office, jump into configuration, scroll on down, and you'll see this office IP whitelist. So what you're going to do is you're going to click select and it's going to basically have a placeholder in here. This is a uh, kind of like a template for what your IP address would look like. In order to locate your IP address you are going to click on your internet access connection, open your network and sharing, click into your local computer and then click details. For security reasons We've uh, just taken a screenshot and blocked out all but the uh, local IP address 192 point blah blah blah. So what you would do then is once you have that information, you would populate that into the IP address 192.183 point whatever point one one. Click add, and then that one is now only IP address that can access the software okay so if I try to log in from any other IP address it's just plain not gonna work none of the logins will work for this office if it's not coming from this IP address you can add as many of those IP addresses as you would like to um, so if you do want one or two employees to work from home uh, tell them how to get their uh, their IP address provided to you, add it to the white list, and you're off to the races. So if you are using that, just know that it's one extra way that you could have login challenges if you, you know, fat finger something or you don't have a static IP address and it changes from time to time. Long story short, you have this new capability and it's fantastic. Um, let us know if you have any more questions on the appropriate use for it or getting it set up. We appreciate your time. Thanks so much.